Welcome from the home of the Mets, City Field in Queens, New York. Sunday baseball on the show. It's the Chicago Cubs going up against the New York Mets. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. And the batter now, Steve Rogers. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And a rope into center field, base hit. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. Not in time, he's safe, and it's second and third with nobody out. I'll tack one more game onto his hitting streak, Boog. Every day, this guy just keeps making his record harder and harder to reach. I still can't believe what he's doing. Yeah, neither can I. It's like he's playing on beginner mode out there. Here's Pete Alonso. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. That one fouled off. Stay hot, baby. Got him. One away. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. Here's the veteran second baseman, Isan Diaz. Four hits and 11 tries so far in the series. Ground ball up the middle into Candelario's glove. Now two away as they get a run across. Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. Alvarez swinging it much better this season in away games than here at home. Wait for your pitch up there, huh? Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Like you can up there. Like you can. Let's go. The 2-2. And a swing and a miss. Good job at damage control right there. One inning in the books here. It's the Mets 2 and the Cubs nothing. As we go to the last of the third. Now it's the shortstop, Steve Rogers. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. Martin back to work. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. And a foul ball. Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. That one ripped. Come on, ball, get up. Get up. Get That's up. back. Bang! Oh, muscle to center field, and they add to the lead. It's 3-0. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in the spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. And now, Steve Rogers. He's already homered here in this one. Singing, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know... I like to talk about, I'm not sure whether Clutch actually hey, exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. He swings and fouls one off. And he'll one. 
That one ripped right center field. Pulls it in on the warning track. Tags up from second, and he'll head to third. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. And next for the Cubs, Nelson Velasquez. Kicks and deals. Line drive. And base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And a 1-2. On the ground a second. Might be two. Good feed. That's one. Over to Alonzo. Double play. Well, certainly doing his very best out there on the mound to bring that win streak to a halt. And now Steve Rogers. This guy has turned into a beast. And here we go, you got this. Up the middle. Nice stop. On a second, they get one, but no throw to first as he'll hold on to it. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. Castilla checks on first. Rogers dives back in safely. Another throw over. And he's back in that time as well. Hey, get a good one up there, huh? Again to first. And again, he's back safely. Two and one now. That one missing inside. All right, one time, right here. Big hit right here. Here we go. Right into the plate. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Strike in there. Safe at second, and that was not close. Well, you can't fault the defense for not paying enough attention. They threw over a few times, but he just waited it out, kept his timing. He was able to swipe the bag. Nice job of base running right there. Mauricio, the runner at third. Rogers at second with two gone. That one down the line. Base hit. One run in already. Another comes in to score, and they extend their lead. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Just one of those seen-eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. First and second, one out. Now batting Jamer Candelario. The first hey, grounder right here. Jamer Candelario. Hey, one down, one down. On the ground, could be two. And that one handled. One at second. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. This one pretty well decided at this point. Seventh inning stretch time. Mets are out on top, 13 to nothing. Hey, let her rip. Bottom let her of the rip. seventh at the play, Steve Rogers. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. High fly ball down the left field line. And there's one away. Back here at the ballpark, and here's the catcher, Peyton Henry. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Rogers gloves it, whips it to first on the run. 
Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Now back, designated hitter. Seeing an impressive jump throw from the hole at short. Let's see what StatCast has to say. Now he's just showing off out there. I mean, I don't know if fans realize how much arm strength you need to make that throw. This guy's got a rocket of an arm, and that was on full display right there. Just an awesome job. Next to hit, Jose Torres. Two down now. Bounced up the middle. Tossed to Alonzo, and that'll do it. And the Cubs are down in order. Still looking up at a 13-0 score. Well, when you reel off eight wins in a row, you're this close to double digits, and now all of a sudden it's a challenge within a challenge to get two more wins to get to 10. But there's definitely a high level of confidence that these guys are playing at right now, and that's one of those things. You don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to disturb things. Make sure the clubhouse guy is giving you